Yo, hi, hello everyone, mabuhay Welcome back to my channel Happy reason to be guys still on the move Or always on the move uh, Today we are traveling through or cruising through the smart tunnel Again We are revisiting the storm water management and road tunnel here in Kuala Lumpur uh, This is considered as a highway which is the E38 and this is one of the major national projects that have been constructed here in Malaysia. Uh, the total length of the tunnel is about 9.7 kilometers to be exact. Uh, one of the longest storm water drainage tunnel in Southeast Asia. And probably the second longest in Asia. So uh, let's go again. And uh, the main objective of this tunnel is actually is to solve the problem of flash floods here in the city center of Kuala Lumpur and of course and to reduce the traffic jams along uh, the Songhai Besi and uh, Lokyo flyovers uh, well at the Pudu area during the rush hours so there are two main components of this tunnel to be honest uh, the storm water tunnel and the motorway tunnel and it is we can say that this is the longest multi-purpose tunnel in the world and here we are this is the uh, toll plazas which is going in towards the smart tunnel and here we go this is the main entrance going in from Sungai Besi Highway so ride with me and let's go And that is what's the capture at the back of this camera which is also very clear and uh, apparently this is how it looks like and this is at the front uh, capture of the camera right now we are starting to go in inside the tunnel and if you notice uh, the signboard uh, the maximum or the posted speed of this tunnel is actually 60 kilometers per hour so if we are following the rules for now and well we cannot speed up uh, because this is just I mean uh, a narrow road it's not a narrow tunnel but uh, it's relatively uh, you know slow traffic because of the curvatures of the tunnel and if you notice there are some green thingy like what we are crossing right now those are actually a passage going out from the tunnel to the ground so those are sort of having probably an intervals of about 900 meters or one kilometers and there you go again and it's very clear today uh, surprisingly that there's no one uh, traveling with me we don't have company and there you go again those green lights those are passage uh, just in case that you I mean some breakdown or maybe for maintenance purposes they can go in and out into those green areas And there are actually three or four modes uh, to operate this tunnel the first modes under normal conditions uh, where there is no storm no flood water will be diverted into the system so it is possible possible with the vehicles uh, when the second mode is activated it's actually the flood water is diverted into the bypass tunnel which is underneath the motorway tunnel uh, the motorway section is still operating at this stage and uh, when the third mode is operation the motor will be closed to all traffic after making sure all the vehicles have uh, exited the motorway automated watertight gates will be open to allow flood water to pass through and after the flood has ended the tunnel is verified and cleaned by a pressure washing and the motorway will be reopened to traffic within 
uh, 48 hours of closure so that is how it operates we are actually traveling one of this uh, deck of this tunnel which is the the upper side uh, which is going out to Kuala Lumpur and what I mean is exiting to Jalan Sultan Ismail uh, we are turning into the left the ones going is up straight is going out to Jalan Tun Razak And here we go out to Jalad Sultan Ismail right now. And here we go. As the saying goes, there always be a light at the end of the tunnel. And again, that is the capture at the back of the camera while we are exiting from the tunnel. And here we go. That is the uh, one of the iconic tower here in uh, Malaysia, KL118. And at the other side, straight up, is the TM Tower, Telecom Tower. On the right hand side is actually the TRX. So what we're gonna do now is that we end up in here. Uh, this is Jalan Sultan Ismail, intersections of uh, uh, the Times Square area at the left hand side. So we are actually making a U-turn towards Kampung Pandan. And that's all for now. Thank you again for riding with me as you are looking at the TRX on the left hand side over there and uh, don't forget to subscribe and i will be touring you around part of malaysia and mostly here in kuala lumpur that's all for now and take care everybody i'll see you again later bye bye yeah